lower places behind the wall and on the higher places I even set the people after their families with their swords their spears and their bows the last verse we're going to stop here and I looked and rose up and said unto the nobles and to the rulers and to the rest of the people be not ye afraid of them remember the Lord which is great and terrible and fight for you brethren your sons and your daughters your wives and your houses Father we thank you for this day we thank you for how you have allowed us to assemble ourselves together today to celebrate this great woman of God and this great church of this 26th year anniversary Lord we bless you for this Liberty Church on the Rock we thank you for that God and how you have allowed them to sustain every attack we thank you for their persistence we thank you for their faithfulness by your grace we are still here and so we say thank you Lord Lord, as we come before these your people, we ask God that you forgive me that, that through anything that be word, thought, or deed, that as I stand behind the sacred desk, that but your word will not, I will come with clean hands and pure heart, and your word will not be void of what it is that you have accomplished it to do. We ask God that these words upon this, your word of God, will come alive in us, yes. and not just be mere words. Let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh Lord, my strength, you are my redeemer. We thank you. We count it down by faith in Jesus' name. And the people said, Amen. Amen. I want to talk from the subject just for a little while. I can work under pressure. I can work under pressure. I'm going to say that one more time. I can work under pressure. Yes, can we just declare that in the atmosphere the name said, I can work. I can work under pressure. Under pressure. Come on, say that again like you really mean that thing. Say, I can work. I can work. work under pressure. Under pressure. I need you to understand <laughs> that we can work under pressure by the grace of God. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Not only Pastor and I can work under pressure, but you, you, and especially you, yeah. can work under pressure. Yeah. Pressure, people of God, is defined as uh, the first definition is a continuous physical force <laughs> exerted on or against an object or even a person by something in contact with it. The second definition is uh, the use of persuasion or influence or intimidation to make someone do or not to do something. Pressure. Pressure. And I don't know about you, but I believe that everybody in the kingdom of God is under some type of pressure. Well, uh, our text will help illuminate this truth of that when you stand for what is right, mm -hmm. then you will be under attack. Uh -huh. uh, in other words, and so that attack will now cause a certain type of pressure upon you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, God, let me teach today. Mm -hmm. and so, Nehemiah, within our text, Nehemiah, Nehemiah, who is not a stranger unto uh, uh, affliction, finds himself along with Ezra. And the people of Judah are experiencing exile from captivity under Nebuchadnezzar in Babylon. Uh -huh. uh, the people uh, actually became accustomed. Oh God, let me teach. The people themselves became accustomed while in. Uh, they, 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 they became accustomed to living uh, with the oppression while in captivity. In other words, they, they got to the point, let me put it to you like this, they've been in a situation so long that they said that things are not 
going to change. Mm -hmm. They got comfortable to the point where they said, I might as well uh, uh, be or to conform myself to what it is that even though I know that it's not the way I've been brought up, it's not the way that, that God ordained it, but I'm going to conform myself to it because they, it has now become my environment. Yes. Uh, so, with that being said, just like the people of Israel, we are finding a people in this day where they have been conformed to their environment. Oh God, what is surrounding them? They are becoming part of that. But I believe that there is a group of people like here at this Liberty Church on the Rock that will say, I am going to live for God. No what? Yes. Uh, good yes. God, yes. here today. Yes. And so, the Bible lets us understand that, that we must stand for what is right. Yes. Yes. That's right. That's right. That's right. And it's not just about, you know, I heard someone say holiness is still right. Yeah. But can I add to this point, holiness has always been right. Yes. 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 It ain't no still. It, it, it's all, it has been then, yes. now, and to come. Right, right. Need to realize that, that God is calling for a holy people. Come on, a peculiar people. Yes. That will stand and know even through adversity yes. that I will stand. Going back is not an option. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. So we see here in the text, I gotta hurry up and still take my time. Yes, sir. Uh, they, 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 once they made the people of Israel now when they came from out of the exile they, they came or they made an exodus out of captivity they now had a mental change All right. All right. Yeah. which resulted in a physical change of their position of posture <laughs> Woo! They found themselves under attack when their minds changed. Yes. When their posture changed. Come on, come on. When you, you when you let me tell you something. That's why the Bible says, "Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, and be not what conformed to this world." Yes, yes. I'm flipping around a little bit, but that's that's basically what they're saying. You, you, Conformed, and the only way not to be conformed, you've got to change your mind. So, the Lord began to reveal to me in this text, of which we are in verse number six, it says something powerful. It says, So, after we came out of this, we started building back what it is that we have lost. It says, So, we built, we the wall. And all the wall was joined together unto half thereof for this is what I love about a good people of God. The people had a mind to work. It's a blessing, Pastor Washington, and I know you can concur with this, when you have a group of people that have a mind that want to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We may come across a few lazy ones. Oh, uh, I probably don't make nobody mad. Uh, but yeah, yeah. We may come across a couple people that are, that are naysayers. Yeah, yeah. We may come across the one that says they ain't going to do nothing. Yeah, yeah. We may come across them kind of people that will say they can't do it without me. Oh, 
number 11. I ain't got time to go real heavy in it. But they came together with one purpose and one place. And they came together and started building a tower up toward God. And the Bible said, when they came together, God said, nothing shall be impossible to them. They come together. Okay, y'all. Don't you tell me we can't get something done. I'm looking. I can remember what this church used to look like. Not just that. I'm not talking about people. I'm talking about they're on the Liberty Church. I remember what the church used to look like. But then pastor and put together a group of people that put it down. You see a big Beautiful edifice, you don't, you don't see it on this one. But, 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 but when you see other services that she's been dealing with, look at that beautiful edifice that they have there. That's when you have a group of people that have a mind to work. Right, now, I ain't gonna, who am I to be jealous <laughs> that she built an addition <laughs> and fixed up with God? Oh, y'all looking at me funny. So, what, therefore, I'm gonna rejoice. They're not being productive 
and what they are doing. Just a few moments, can I give you a few characteristics of the spirit of the Arabians? Now, the spirit of the Arabian is a group of people that they discourage your dream because they didn't pursue theirs. My God. That is the spirit of the Arabians. <laughs> Let me give you another characteristic. They say you can't do it without them. That's the spirit of the Arabian. I know, I know, Liberty Church, y'all might not have no people in your church that, 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 that they start doing it, but then they stop. And just because they stop, they think that this, the work gonna stop because they stop. Uh, that's the spirit of Arabia. Come on, yeah. uh, uh, The lack of productivity. Well, let me give you one more, one more thing. They they try to tell you how to do it <laughs> without being productive themselves. Let, let, me, let, me, let me break it down for you and I, the outside of the four walls. Can I tell you something? A person that's trying to tell you what to do, if I was you, I would do it this way. When they haven't even gotten through what they're dealing with their own self. I come to tell you that is the spirit of an Arabian. Oh, I'm doing the best I can. I'm, I might not holler, but I, I, I'm preaching already. Whether you, whether you know that. Let, 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 that was the first group of people that came up. They came against the people. Uh -huh. The people that were the lacking of productivity. The second group of people. Don't go to sleep. I'm, I'm going to to help you now. If, if, if you listen to it. Uh, the second group of people were the Astrodites. The Astrodites. Their, their, name, their name means uh, ravager. Ravager. A ravager are a group of people that wreak havoc. My God. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. No, 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 no. I'm moving too fast on myself. I don't want to wreak the havoc yet. I want to go to the second group of people according to the text. They were the Ammonites. The Ammonites means tribal. Tribal. These are people that are hooked into tradition. They don't want no change. I, I teach this. Things that don't change remain the same. Huh? There's sometimes that, 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 that God don't change. But sometimes his methods. Okay, y'all don't touch. Yeah, 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 yeah. What we're doing right now is change. This is very unorthodox. How we can record something one day and play it on the next and send it out the viral, the, the viral thing. Y'all y'all looking at me talking about uh, uh, where we're used to going to being in each other's presence. This is different. This is change. But we can also be productive within the change. Uh, uh, these people are hooked in what used to be. The spirit of the Amorite is one that lives in the past. Yeah. Well, let me help you. You ever met anybody, once you made a change, they come back to you in your face right. and say, I remember mm -hmm. when you used to do this. Right. I remember when you used to say that. Mm -hmm. right. let, me, let me drop this on you too, because this kind of bothers me sometimes. Why in the world, once we get saved, right? right. And sometimes we may fall into uh, our flesh. Uh -huh. yeah. Then people will throw this up real fast. I thought you were saved. <laughs> I thought you was a minister. I thought you was a pastor. I thought you was a deacon. My conclusion to that matter is keep on thinking. Because my life is not based upon what you think. My destiny is based upon who God says I am. And I am a deacon. I am a pastor. I 
Amorites, the spirit of the Amorites are those that are tribal, those that want no change. They are stuck into tradition. Mm. Can I pop this on us? This 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 new uh, uh, era that we are in, we can't always put on them what we came up in. Mm -hmm. Oh God, I'm gonna make somebody mad at <laughs> Minister Banks, we grew up in the same church. Some stuff that we were taught was not biblical. Say that again, Bishop. Oh. I thank God for it, though, uh -huh. because it helped me to discipline myself. That's right. That's it. That's it. Oh, That's it. That's it. But some of the things that were was, was taught uh -huh. was based upon tradition. Yes. The things of what they used to do. Yes. Who taught them? Yes. Then they taught us. Yes. But it really was not biblical. Right. If I now try to teach this to our young people now, they're gonna say, "Prove it to me." So there's got to come a time where number one, we got to know our word. Yes, that's right. right. And allow this word to come alive in us. That's right. Yes. And we must be the change. Oh God. Right. Do you not know that people aren't reading the Bible as they should? Right. The right. only Bible that some people will see is you. Right. Okay, somebody's a Okay, we'll do the rest of it. What's it? So, 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 so. So, so, so. The Amorites. So we got the Arabian, the spirit of the Arabians with lack of productivity. Then the Amorites, uh, which are hooked into tradition. Yeah. Then we have the last group of people that, that, we, that we're going to deal with today is the Astadites. The Astadites are, which means ravager. Now, as I said to you earlier, uh, these are the people who wreak havoc by destruction. Their intent is trying to bring you down. Amen. Oh. They come in with a purpose, saying, this ain't going to work, and I'm going to make it not work. Oh. So what they do is, they plant negative seeds mm -hmm. all around the church, mm -hmm. all around your friends, mm -hmm. all around your family. Nice. And they plant that negative seed that in their positive ground. Watch this. You cannot get a positive fruit planted in negative seed. So what happens is when they plant that negative seed, what comes up is negative results. But I come against the spirit of the Arabians. I come against the spirit of the Amorites. I come against the spirit of the Astrodites. And if God be for us, then who can be against us? Somebody shout, I can't work on that. Mm. So, I need you to understand verse 8 reveals the intent of the spirit of the Arabians, the Amorites, and the Acidites. Somebody shout, teach Bishop. I'm doing the best I can. Look at verse number eight. It reveals the people's intent. What did these people come to do? The Arabians, the Amorites, the Astrodites. What they come to do? They come to. They, they, they're trying to work in three steps of their plan to hinder the work. Can I share with you the verse eight? It says. It, they come to hinder it, the Bible says. Oh what is the it? it. It's the work. Mm -hmm. The enemy came against the people of God, not the wall. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that again. The enemies came against the people of God Amen. and not the wall. Mm -hmm. Come on, sir. Come on. Now, understand something now. Follow me. When they heard about the wall, or the work, that's when they became threatened. Mm -hmm. Not just because of the wall. Come on, Come on, mm -hmm. Not just because of the work. Watch this. Because a good enemy knows they can't stop God's work. <laughs> but if they can hinder the worker, uh -huh. then it's a possibility that it can hinder the worker. Okay, Can I, can I share with you? Can I reveal what the enemy 
trying to do to us. Tyler, when you have your little business, you know, you know, you know, you gotta be careful who, who's around you now because they ain't coming about your business. They, they don't want your table. <laughs> they, 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 they don't want your lashes. They, they don't want that. Uh, but they want you. Because if we got, if I can stop Tasha, then I then I've already stopped the table. If I can stop an uh, elder Smith, then he ain't nobody else had been done in that spot. If I if I can if I can stop Pastor Washington, then them kids will get caught up in the system. was that not at this point coming against the law. Right. But they were coming against those that were building the law. Amen. All right. uh, okay. How they do it? Ask me how. Uh, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. The first thing they did, according to verse number 11, says, and our adversary said, they shall not know. Neither shall they see. That's one of the ways that you're trying to get us. Someone's asking me how. how? Their, their plan is to shake your faith. Mm -hmm. okay. how, did, how did you come up with that, Bishop? Oh. It said, because they shall not know, neither shall they see. Mm -hmm. So in other words, says if I can make it so they can't see it. Mm -hmm. Because most people are visual people. Mm -hmm. If I can make it so that it look like that they're not coming out. Okay, y'all. If I can make it look like that things are not going to get better, then they will quit and stop. Oh, my God. That's why you got to get this word in your heart. Because the Bible declared in 2 Corinthians chapter number 5, verse number 7, it says, For we walk by faith and not Uh, their plan was to slay them. Remember, the 
It's all in verse number 11. And he said, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest. No, 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 no. Oh, what, what, what verse was that? Yeah, knowing therefore we fear the eternal Lord, we persuade men, but 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 that's the real thing. No, we need to go back to Nehemiah. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Holy Ghost. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Verse says, and our adversary said, They shall not know, neither shall see, till we come in the midst among them and slay them and cause the work to cease. Uh, so it says, and the third thing is to slay them, to slay them. John 10 and 10 says that the thief comes but not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Well, somebody shout, but, but I can work, I can under, work. Pressure. under pressure. Why? Because even though the enemy is there trying to steal, even though the enemy is there well, to try to kill, well, even though the, the enemy is there that's trying to destroy, the Bible says, but, but, to myself, but, but, it says, but, but, I am come that they might have a life. Yes, 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 and yes, have it yes, more abundantly. Yes, 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 yes. I have come that they might yes, have a life. Yes, and have it more abundantly.
you can operate under pressure. You don't have to do an attack when you are under pressure. Some of us are under pressure. Yeah.
background. What he's saying is, to us, he's in the heat of the battle. You went in with less. But you're inside of him with more.
Thank <laughs> you.